in the UK, one million people ride. So actually finding riders and athletes to, to go on and win medals is relatively easy. But actually coming to Hong Kong, which obviously is much smaller, and the talent pool here in Hong Kong is obviously much smaller, and it's more difficult to find elite athletes. But the more I looked at Hong Kong, the more there was an opportunity to really make a difference. So for me, it offered that opportunity and also to come and work for an organisation like the Hong Kong Jockey Club because they're very well regarded within the equestrian industry worldwide. So I knew what a great company I was coming into. So for all those reasons, that's what tempted me uh, across the other side of the world. We had good athletes already, but what we wanted to do was really reach their potential. So we put in, for example, sports psychologists, nutritionists, making sure that our athletes were as fit to compete as they possibly could. Well, the idea behind HKEPP was to identify talent within the Hong Kong community, then develop that potential and then deliver success. And watch Jackie win that gold medal that, you know, we'd made Hong Kong proud. And it, it was a very emotional time. So I think we were all in tears. There was a lot of tears, but they were very happy tears. And we also obviously won a team gold medal in show jumping, which again was a historic moment for Hong Kong to win a gold medal in show jumping. So that was a wonderful achievement. And again, just showed that our program was continuing to develop and grow. And then one year on and sort of qualifying for Tokyo 2020 that turned out to be 2021. But that was a great achievement in that it was the first time we'd ever qualified a full team for the Paralympic Games. Uh, that was uh, something that we'd set ourselves as a target, Tokyo 2020. The difference now is we are much more professional in the way in which we manage our sports team. So at the, at the elite level, we have this full support team around the athletes and making sure that we do everything to the very best uh, ability that we can and that we're maximising the potential of all the athletes that we've got. That we're now much more systematic in how we do that and the result is we've had success and we've been able to win medals. So I think we're far more respected now on the world stage. I think now when we go to events, we make Hong Kong proud and we continue to build on that and hopefully we'll continue to have success and, and go to um, bigger competitions. Looking to the future, Asian Games is our next big target. We really hope that we can take Jacqueline Sue and defend her title with the Dressage Gold Medal. We're hoping to take teams in all of the disciplines and hopefully win more medals than we did last time. And then after that, the next focus would be on the next Olympic and Paralympic Games. So we're already again looking, next year will be the qualification year um, for those games. So we'll be working hard again to try and qualify for Paris 2024.